Hello everyone, this is Darkrava12, and today I am doing something a little bit different. For one, I realized that the last year has been really chaotic. There's, there's just been a lot for everybody to deal with. And because of that, I wanted to try to just take them a moment to do a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a, a an explanation as to what I want to do moving forward with 2021 because I'm about to do a few things that are a little bit different that I have never done before uh, and with Alpha Play or Alpha Talks, excuse me, I've already started um, and I uh, I just want to explain a little bit to you because I kind of dumped Alpha Talks on you guys without really explaining what I was intending to do with it so that's that's on me i got too excited for it i've been thinking about it for almost a year now and uh, i just wanted to you know finally give the explanation that i feel like you guys deserve um so what i plan on doing with this series is it's meant just to be a little fun side project for me for the most part uh where i can express opinions talk about theories uh tell stories I've got several stories that I want to share with you guys. I think that might be entertaining. Uh, I also plan on using it as my primary source source for uh, putting out updates on what's going on with the channel. Um, some of them will be edited like I've done before with like the, uh, the intro and whatnot. Some of them will just be immediately released. Depends on whether or not I'm doing it from my phone or not. But um, for the most part, Alpha Talks is just supposed to be my little corner where I can talk about whatever I want. Um, that is now including reaction videos because you guys seem to really enjoy the reaction videos. So, um, I wasn't intending on doing that initially, but I figured I'd take a shot in the dark and attempt it and you guys really like it. So, Alpha Talks is meant to be a, a secondary thing that allows me to get more content out onto YouTube. So that way I can get like maybe two videos out or maybe even three videos out a week instead of just the one. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands due to being at work, so when I've got the opportunity to, I will just sit down and talk about things. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to make it entertaining enough either through the storytelling or through the editing to really give you guys something to enjoy. Um, the Pokemon one that I released uh, not too long ago, that was a fun little story that I had, and I did my best to try and spoof it up with with editing and whatnot and I'm hoping that maybe people will go back and check it out it'll be in the uh, upper right hand corner in the little eye icon um, but beyond that with 2021 there's another project there's a couple other projects that I've been gearing up for and uh, it's costing me about $200 a month to try and get the art assets for these projects but I'm really excited to be able to bring them to you so I'm hoping that very very soon I'll be able to get the first episode out and uh, what that what the project that I'm referring to right now is um, for those who don't know I actually have a bit of a fan fiction that I have uh, uh, over on fanfiction.net. The link will be in the description below of, you know, it, I think we're on chapter 17 that's released. I'm working on chapter 21 right now. Um, Tyrus is my main editor, and I pay him uh, to, you know, just look over and make sure that there aren't any major flaws that uh, could potentially derail the entire chapter. Um, also, his OC happens to take uh, center stage in a couple of the chapters. One that's released and at least two that aren't released. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, he, he's going to be a reoccurring character. So he also looks over the dialogue, makes sure that I can get Ozzy slang down properly because <laughs> he, he gave me some hell on that first chat at his, at his character's first appearance. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, the, the story is fun. Anybody who is a fan of um, Gundam will really enjoy it. Anybody who's a fan of Ruby should enjoy it as well, because what I've done is I've taken the characters from Ruby and inserted them into uh, the anime Gundam Build Fighters. And I've taken material from Gundam Build Fighters, Gundam Build Fighters Try, um, the mangas that are associated with those two animes, and the, uh, 
the OVAs that are associated with them, as well as Gundam Build Fighters Battlelog, which is like a little side mini series that connects both Try and the original together. And I've taken elements from those and characters from those and spun it with the Ruby characters as well as a few of my own OCs and am attempting to create like the next chapter in that because Gundam Build Fighters Try, uh, there's nothing really after that, after the, uh, the Island Wars uh, OVA. So we don't know what happens next in that universe. And so this is me creating the next chapter like a year later after Island Wars to be able to continue on one of my favorite uh, and simplistic Gundam animes of all time. And I like it because of the fact that, you know, I like funny little things like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Beyblade and stuff like that, where like, you know, you've got like this stupid little concept of toys battling each other. That's basically what Gundam Build Fighters is. You build model kits, you customize them, you throw them into a simulator and you pilot them and beat the crap out of somebody else's. So I, I decided to take that and I, I've spun it in an interesting way and I've decided to do a bunch of unique things with it that weren't featured in the actual anime because of limitations or licensing issues um, since it's only Gundam that's in there and uh, I decided to do other things because Gundams aren't the only model kits out there, just saying. And uh, I've had fun writing it, you know, I've been working on it since like October of 2019, right around my birthday uh, of that year, and a year later it's gotten a lot more popular than I was expecting. And I'm hoping to bring this to life through voice acting and reading it out loud and using the artwork that I'm commissioning to really tell a story and, and give you guys visualizations that maybe I have failed to capture in my writing. I don't think so. I mean, I, I hear anybody who's been write, uh, reading the uh, story, uh, they, they've got questions, they have things that they want elaborated. Uh, they've sent me private messages over on fanfiction.net, and I've done my best to try and tell them things without spoiling it. And I can easily do that here as well. But I want to bring the story to life, not just through my writing, but also just through, like, a not a live reading, but a reading of every chapter. I can't promise it's going to be a regular thing, because I can only commission one art piece a month from each of the two artists that I'm doing. And I've got Amako on board, who is, uh, if anybody who knows JPDE knows that he does the sprites for JPDE. So I've got him working on the sprites for the characters. And I've got another character named MF Draws, you can find over on Twitter, who is designing the Gundams. I'm, I've got some, like, base resources that I'm giving him, and he's putting them together and turning them into actual Gundam artworks. You're seeing samples of both of them on the screen on either side of my head right now. Um... So th this will give you an idea of exactly what kind of quality you're going to be getting out of the series and what kind of uh, um, just overall, you know, how much effort I'm putting into it. Because I'm putting, you know, like I said, about $200 a month into the art assets. Uh, and that's not including paying Kyrus. So I'm investing a decent amount of, of uh, funds into it. And as I've stated many times before, I don't make money off of YouTube. This is all passion project. I have fun with it. And I'm hoping to bring you guys some entertainment that you guys can have fun with. Um, that's that's not just my Let's Play videos. Yeah, so that that's that's the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about. Although there was a couple of other things, minor things, that I plan on addressing as well. As many of you know, I've started a lot of games. And I haven't actually finished all of them. And for one reason or another, some of those games are probably going to be continued and some of them are probably going to get dropped this year. I can tell you right now, uh, one of the biggest questions I have um, over the course of 2020 was, where is Gary the Stormtrooper in Fallout? The sad answer is Fallout 4 save file got corrupted. I don't know how. I think it might be an outdated mod, but I cannot access the save file right now. So I'm going through, I've been going through for like the last several months. The process of figuring out which mod it was. I'm praying it's not one of the critical ones, like the actual Stormtrooper armor. But uh, I'm going through all of the mod uh, lists that I have. Got like 90 or so mods on uh, Gary Plays Fallout. And I'm one by one deactivating them and seeing if the game will work. It might be a combination of mods. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I haven't been able to play that game for almost a year because I haven't been able to access the file. So, um... 
if I can get it to work in 2021, Gary Plays Fallout will return. If I can't, unfortunately, I'm going to have to like put that series on hiatus or just indefinitely suspend it. So he, he may be a series that I never get back to. I would hate that because he, he must be doing very well popularity wise, but I can't change the fact that I can't access the game. So that's that's uh, that's where that one stands. Also, I know that uh, as I addressed in my most recent SWOTOR video with the uh, Jedi Knight story, that I haven't played Gary Plays um, SWOTOR and I haven't done my Sith Inquisitor storyline in a long time. The Sith Inquisitor being the longest, being at a year. And I feel really bad about that. He just keeps getting put to the sidelines because I can only really do maybe two videos a, a, a week. Um, if I'm lucky and I've got the time for it. So I've decided that the very next video that releases after this one will be the next episode of the Sith Inquisitor storyline. Because I love that storyline. I'm getting back into it. And with all the revamps they've done to some of the cutscenes, I think it'll be even more entertaining than it has been before. Um, that being said, however, there are two SWOTOR um, campaigns that I'm going to cut, and that is the Sith Warrior, which I started over in Arc Alpha Studios, and I tried to continue over here, but one of the uh, episodes ended up getting lost, and I, I found it about a year and a half ago, and I asked in one of my Sith Inquisitor videos whether or not people wanted me to release that, un that unreleased footage. To continue the Sith Warrior storyline, I never got a response. Um, I'm, you know, I'm I'm used to having my my episodes only have a few views, so I uh, I never released the episode because it was already like almost a year out. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to restart the Sith Warrior storyline with like the new enhanced cutscenes. That, that storyline also came from a time when I had like a worse mic and like my editing quality was was poor and so it's not a good representation of what's going on. So I, uh, I yeah, I'm gonna restart that. I've got a new character in mind. I'm going to uh, basically start from scratch, go through the entire Sith Warrior storyline again and uh, try and, and blitz through it faster than I did before. Um, same thing's probably happening with Star-Lord. As much as I had fun creating Star-Lord, I released the first episode of that, I think, when Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, came out. I think. I don't quite remember. It's been a long time. And uh, he, my Smuggler storyline just kind of fell flat, and I didn't really lose interest in playing it, but I did at the same time because he wasn't gaining the popularity I thought he was going to. Um, I was imagining that perhaps Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was going to put Star-Lord at a much more popular position in my Let's Play videos, and that didn't happen. So it's been almost, I'd say, two to three years since I, I tried to play Star-Lord. I don't quite remember. I think he was one of the first ones that premiered on my channel. I played him a couple of times and then just stopped because I was trying to figure out something new, something bigger to start with the channel. And so I moved on. So Star-Lord's also probably going to get cut. I'm going to put any game that I did not complete, such as Jedi Fallen Order. That's another one that's not going to get continued. Um, I tried to put that out when Fallen Order first came out and... Too many people were blitzing through the game too quickly. This is the reason why I'm not doing Cyberpunk. It's the reason why I'm not doing a, a variety of like the newer games because too many people are releasing Let's Play videos more often than I am. And they're releasing them pretty much like in a spam of a couple of days where I can't do that. I can't compete with them. And so nobody's watching my videos because they are videos that they can watch anywhere else. It's the reason why I'm focusing on other stories that have been out for a while that people might've already finished but want to revisit. Uh, that's always been my goal for the channel is to play games that I enjoy that I think are good stories to entertain you guys. Um, and I can't, I can't keep buying games that uh, I can't keep up with when, and you know, I'm still playing them after they've already been completed like a hundred times on YouTube and nobody's watching them anymore. 
Like that's that's a waste of my time. And it's a waste of your guys' time and a waste of money. Yeah, that, that that's that's just why I haven't bothered trying to keep up with like what would be considered the YouTube meta when it comes to video gaming. It's because I can't keep up with it. I work in the direct center of the day. I'm either getting ready for work when I first wake up, or I'm too tired to do anything when I get home. So. It sounds like an excuse, and it probably is, but that's that's the way it is. Which is one of the reasons why I decided to do Alpha Talks, because it's a lot easier. It's it's something that I can feel good about, because I've been wanting to do something like this for a long, long, long time. At least a year, maybe two years. And I just decided to do it. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to start from this moment uh, trying to give you guys more quality content and do so either through my video games or through my talking, you know, my storytelling. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it, and I would love to be able to hear suggestions for things that you guys want me to react to. I'd love to be able to hear, um, like, if you have a popular fan theory uh, and you want me to figure out whether or not it works or whether or not it's something that you would like to have talked about, I would love to hear about it, and I will do my best to try and do that. I've got my own theories. If you guys want to hear about them, if you guys ha want to hear about stories such as I hinted at talking about when I uh, did a little roleplay where I put Mewtwo into Dragon Ball Z, um, like actually created him with the Dragon Ball Z universe rules and turned him into a Dragon Ball Z character. Um, so if you guys want to hear about that, let me know in the comments. Um, I really want some feedback as to what direction you think I should go with Alpha Talks. Because I have my own stuff. I already have a lot of things planned out. I've got like three videos that I've recorded besides this that I need to edit and release. But I want to know what you guys want to see um, coming forward in 2021. I, I want to be able to really give you guys the best experience here on the channel as possible. I mean, I, like you've probably seen, I've rebranded myself. I've come up with a brand new logo. Um, I'm going to be, from this point on, changing my intro i haven't quite figured it out yet but i i am no longer alpha arc alpha 12 plays i'm just arc alpha 12 this is my new main channel um yeah i'm, I'm hoping to be able to get back into music videos over in arc alpha studios but uh i felt that 2021 was best ushered in with a new change and so that's what i'm trying to do but yeah that's basically it uh, thank you for listening to me babble for like the last like 15 minutes or so. Um, welcome to 2021, everyone. Hopefully it's a better year for all of us. And hopefully we can all have fun and make it through together. And I will see you in the next video.